Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel once again. Today the word I'm bringing you is a three-part word. It um, speaks of ministries and of a global transition and um, a challenge for those who love the Lord to allow the purging to take place so that they're able to bring in the harvest. This word um, refers to the reign of Christ in the earth and um, as a timeline I am not sure when that is taking place. I don't think anyone else is either but we do know that the scriptures do speak of the Lord's return and of him setting up his kingdom in the earth and that it his rulership will go across the earth. So just keep that in mind that um, this word may not take place in this day, today, but in this era. And um, this is what the Lord has in mind for the future. So it may just be a heads up, but we all need to be encouraged to be watching to see what the Lord is doing and where he is going with things in this day and hour. So the uh, title of this is called You Will See the Fall of Ministries, an Economic Overthrow and a Global Transition. Honor and prestige are coming your way. I have assigned you to the task of evangelizing the nations. Many have been called and appointed for this task. I am putting in place the structure through which the nations shall be brought in under one head, who is Christ. This is the day when the enemy shall be bound, and the reign of Christ shall begin in the earth. This is the day of tribulation for those who have tried to outrun God, but a day of triumph for those who would enter into sonship with the Heavenly Father. This is the day of jubilee the day of favor for those who have trusted in the Lord to meet all their needs. A revelation is being released to those who are seeking the Father, a revelation of the times. Signs and wonders shall be seen in the heavens above and in the earth below. I have reserved multitudes who have not bowed the knee to Baal, who will be lifted up out of the world, out of worldly pleasures, and will be brought up into heavenly places to sup with the Lord, the King of kings and Lord of lords. I have reserved many who will be employed in these last days in the work of the ministry, says the Lord. Those who have been lured into places of ministry by trickery are being removed, and those who have been called of the Heavenly Father are being anointed for works of service you will see the transition in your midst. Church works and ministries supported by those who lack understanding of the times are about to fall. I have neither ordained them nor have I blessed them, but they have been empowered by men in their cunning and craftiness. This is the sign of the beast. Anything that pays allegiance to the flesh functions in the spirit of the Antichrist. I am exposing the works of the flesh, says the Lord, and bringing to nothing the powers of the false prophets. You will see the fall of ministries that have been rooted in the soil of the enemy. I am drying up their support systems and uprooting them. You will see the cutting off of supplies to keep these abominations running. I am opening the eyes of the blind, and they shall clearly see the two forces at work, the flesh and the spirit. Works of the flesh shall be made null and void, but whatever is birthed of the Spirit of the Lord shall remain. I have come to set the captives free from the hold of the ungodly counsel of men, says the Lord. I will expose every evil in the assembly, take down every altar to Baal. 
I'm coming through the churches, sweeping through them with my fire. Every ungodly thing shall be exposed. I will take away the good standing of those who have locked themselves into the system. I will uncover every scheme, every ploy used to gain favor with men. When the fire comes, the assembly shall be purged and nothing shall remain. I am through with religious piety, the bowing down to idols erected by men. I will strip the people naked, and they shall seek me for covering instead of the false fronts they have been hiding behind, says the Lord. This is the day of renewal and refreshing for those who have come through the fire. I am bringing counsel to multitudes and they shall enter the land of promise in this day. Rejoice and be glad that the day of sorrow is over, that times of joy are coming to the house, that your children shall be made new and be brought into the house of the Lord to sup with him and to be refreshed, counseled, and renewed in hope. I have designed the plan, instituted it, and it shall go forth to bring in the harvest, says the Lord. Join with me in outreach to the unlovely. Yoke with me, be harnessed to me, for I am moving mightily, and I will gather in all who are willing to come. Just as I promised, I have come to bring justice to the poor. I am bringing in the sheaves. My counsel will prevail. I am closing down places of ill repute. I am taking out of business those who function in greed and idolatry. I am shaking the nation, says the Lord. What will be left when I am through? Very little. I am toppling down kingdoms built by men. Those who have put their trust in financial security will find their bank accounts empty. For I am taking the finances out of the hands and putting it into the hands of those who will carry my mandate forward. You ask, how will this be done? You will see it and hear about it. Investments made by those who hoard will crash. Stocks will lose their worth. I am pulling the plug, says the Lord. Bankruptcies will flourish. Bankers will, will flounder. Civil servants will lose their footing. Stock traders will lose their life savings. Income earned through unfair trade will be apprehended. I am on the move to overthrow the economy. No one will be able to put their security in money. I am replacing the monetary system. I will give credit to those who move by the power of my spirit and eliminate those who have gained financial security through deceit and falsehood. I am revamping the system globally, says the Lord. There will be a global transition. I am depositing large amounts of finances and resources into the hands of my chosen vessels who will use them to further the kingdom of God in the earth. Houses and lands will be attributed to them, released to them to set up places of refuge for the poor wanderer. I will place abundant finances into their hands. I will give them buildings and lands. And the Lord says to you, revamp them, turn them into places of worship. I will send the resources your way. Finances will come in from every angle. Build the additions oversee the work. I will give the blueprint. Thank you for listening to this word. I hope that um, you gain some encouragement from it, um, some understanding. We need to have understanding in this day. We will not understand everything, but we can understand that God is doing a work today in the world and He is making changes. There are things that don't line up with his will and his purposes. And he's coming to reign and rule. So he's at work to prepare for that day. 
Thank you once again for listening, and we hope to see you again. Until next time, bye for now.